Hi, Paint X is a powerful tool allowing you to use various brush strokes on top of video, then have the stroke track the movement in the clip automatically. Common uses include removing unwanted objects in shot, like a mic boom or power lines, painting arrows or circles to highlight objects in the shot, changing the color of specific items in the shot, removing facial blemishes, adding digital noise or dirt, covering up a signpost, or even unwanted logos, and many, many more. So let's dive in. First, open a clip by double-clicking on it to open the clip editor. Find Paint X inside LumaFusion by clicking here to open the Color and Effects tab, and then on the plugin icon. Click on Paint X to add Paint X to the clip. Click the pencil icon down here to the right of the Paint X logo. That will open a full screen editor with the Paint X controls showing a list of presets to get you started. Choose the Track Blur preset. The UI will open with a toolbar showing the different brushes at the top and brush settings below that. After adjusting the settings, use the X button to close the top tab in order to maximize the space for painting. Use the Close button here to open and close the top bar. Normally we want it to auto-hide to give us the most room to paint. Clicking on the brush icon again, will bring back the brush settings so that you can adjust them. There are similar toggles for a left side panel and the bottom play controls, but we don't need to use those right now. We have online documentation with the breakdown of all the tools, but this quick intro will get you started. We are going to do a very simple task, blur the writing on the side of this moving buggy. The blur brush will already be selected with a soft edge applied due to the chosen preset. Use the playhead scrubber at bottom to move to the first frame of the clip. Draw a blur stroke over the writing. These buttons in this floating panel will allow you to track forward, backward, or stop tracking. Press the track forward button. In this case, we got a good track. In the next tutorial, we'll show you how to fix track problems. When the track is finished, you can scrub the clip to see the result. If you want to change the blur brush settings, we can do that without having to make a new stroke or a retrack. Open the left side panel. Select the stroke here in the layers dropdown. Then adjust the brush size or blur range as you need. When you are happy, use the left arrow here to exit the Paint X editor and see your work on the LumaFusion timeline. And that's the basic workflow. All the brushes work in a similar fashion, but we do have tutorials for each preset and for some advanced techniques. Thank you for watching.